Hello everyone, Etta here. I have a small haul for you today that I got from Jim's Daughter Crafts. And I told my friend Anna that I would make sure to do a video on it. It came in yesterday afternoon, but I didn't have a chance to do the video then. So <clears throat> I took today as a vacation day. So <clears throat> and today's a day off for my hubby. So I thought we would spend the day together. So I wanted to hurry up and get this video done so that I can enjoy the rest of the day with him. So here's my little small box that came in from Jim's Star Crafts. <clears throat> it's got my little receipt. Um, picked up some things I specifically wanted to go in there. I saw, well, she has some little wooden risers and they were really cute and I wanted to pick one of those up. That was one of the reasons I went there. And, um... She, I saw that she still had, um, is it, is it that one? I want to make sure I get the right one. Yeah, bug juice. <clears throat> she has bug juice, which says a blend of lime freeze and watermelon Jolly Ranchers. I had gotten that as a sample. Um, show you one of her samples. I already took all the little peanuts out to make this easier. So like here, here's a sample, right? So it comes in like in a little bag, get the piece. So I had gotten bug juice as a sample before and it was so good. I really, really liked it. So I was like, I got to get more bug juice. And then the other one that I specifically wanted to get was it's called It's Fall, y'all. I had gotten that one, I believe, as a sample also. And it, it was divine. And the, um... I've said in other videos that I'm not a big pumpkin pecan waffles fan. So I really didn't think I was going to like It's Fall, y'all, because it says a blend of pumpkin pecan waffles and Cider Lane type. And I couldn't get enough of that sample piece that I had. Oh, I, I, I let it go until it just had no scent at all because it was that good. So here's It's Fall, y'all. And it's shaped like a little pie piece or waffle piece maybe and I've got some stuff in there so I'm kind of getting ahead of myself so let's see first thing um, we all love the little goodie bags right so this one oh yes it's gonna hide you all right so Smarties which is oh one of my favorites love Smarties and then a like a kind of like a blow pop it looks like one of those pop, uh, lollipops or whatever let's see Love the goodies. Love, love, love. And I think that, oh, no, it's not a high chew. It's shaped like a high chew. Okay. Doesn't matter. I'm still going to eat it. Oh, my goodness. That is too cute. Um, it's like a Halloween candy. I'm trying to get it just uh, put on there, right? Because the paper has the design. It's got like a little white, maybe gumdrop, bubble gum. I don't know. But it's a little white, like... Uh, like a hard candy right and the paper is made to look like an eyeball when you put the when you get the little white piece right in the right spot right so that is too cute so this is a columbina all right interested to try that let's see then a few things about your wax i've seen that before yes um in case you haven't been oh look <laughs> Sorry, I, I get enthralled by all the little goodies. There's like a little pen. It's a little Halloween pen. That is too cute. That is adorable. Thank you so much. And then there's a trick or treat little, like a little book it looks like. It says trick or treat. I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. It's like a little notepad. Yeah, see, there's nothing written in it. It's a little notepad, so you could put your own little stuff in there. Great place to put names of scents that you really, really like so that you remember to get them again. And then, of course, I wanted to point out her um, her business card. So it's uh, the owner is Michelle Clark, and it is Jim's Daughter Crafts. And she, she still has stuff on Etsy, but that's where she was basically selling before was on Etsy and she just recently got her own website. So I think a lot of people probably still are looking for Etsy, um, but she does have her website and it's www.jimsdaughtercrafts.com. I'm going to put it up there so you could see. 
So she's got a new website and very easy to maneuver, very easy to find the items, um, very easy checkout. I, I use the um, uh, shop pay and super easy as, as usual with shop pay. So I totally enjoyed that. That was really, really good. So let me put, close this so that I can show you all the different scents that I got. All right, so I already told you that I got It's Fall, y'all, but I got one, two, three of the little like waffle pieces of It's Fall, y'all. Love that scent. And let's see, which one is this? Oh, okay, I think I got two of these. Yes, I got two of one called Costume Party. This one I haven't tried, but it said, Crisp Mountain Air, Greens, Ozonic, Cranberry, Citrus, Blue Spruce, White Pine, and Ivory Geranium. Wow. Um, it's got a pour date of 10-4. And, oh my goodness. That's a lot of, that's a lot of notes. And I would say... Um, I get kind of like the crisp mountain air, the ozonic, um, and then some floral and tree. Very fresh on the like, on the, I would say the crisp mountain air and the ozonic. Very, very fresh scented. I, I've never had a problem with any of her wax. I think um, all the pieces I've done through well, had a great scent. Of course, I tend to pick uh, scents that I think I'm going to like anyways, but this smells really good. Um, very fresh. I like it. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, Beetlejuice. I wanted to try this one. This one's, um, I, and this is the one I was confusing with bug juice. I kept thinking it was beetle juice, but no, I remembered afterwards. No, it's bug juice. So beetle juice, I'm not saying it a third time, says orange, mulled fruit, oak, patchouli, and sugared berries. And it was poured on 10-1. And look at the design. Very nice. I mean, they're, they're thick. You can get several pieces out of that, several. Ooh, okay. Um, I get some orange. I was getting like the mulled fruit, um, like the mulled scent kind of to it. And um, I got berries. I would say patchouli is there more as like a base with the oak. Because um, I'm not getting that so much on cold sniff. Mostly the orange, the mulled part of the fruit, and the berries. That smells good. I'm looking forward to that. Beetlejuice. Oops. Well, I didn't say it three times in a row, so should be okay. Uh, bug juice. Oh. This was so good so good blend of lime freeze and you know i love lemon and lime scents so a blend of lime freeze and watermelon jolly ranchers and it was poured on 927 and <clears throat> the shape is spongebob square pants so cute look how thick that is again easily at least four pieces out of that because if you cut it down cut poor spongebob down the middle and then across <clears throat> and you know um smelling it i get the lime here and almost i would say almost like a like a lime jello but this would be i think this would be an instance where warming and cold are not going to be the same like if i if i had never tried bug juice i would tell you yeah it kind of smells like um kind of like lime jello and i don't know maybe i get watermelon but when this warms it's just fruity and lively and oh, it just smelled really really good when i did it 
Yeah. I, I, I feel like it's different. This one's one that's different on coal than on warming. It smells good still, but it doesn't, it doesn't come across as vibrant as it did when I warmed it. Um, another one that I picked up is Rustic Barn Campgrounds. It says it's a blend of barn wood, which I've smelled barn wood before and I think it's good. Blend of barn wood and fireside marshmallows. And this one was poured on 923 and it's made to look like little, um, maybe like little chocolate pieces, right? Like if you open up a Whitman's chocolate or something, you know? All right. <clears throat> All right, barnwood. I like barnwood. And then fireside marshmallows. That sounds great for that. Oh, wow. That smells really, really, really good. I love that wood scent. It's not... I get more like a just a traditional wood scent, right? Like I'm not getting this balsam. I'm not getting fir. I'm not getting spruce. I'm not getting pine. It's just, it just smells like wood. At least to me, that's the smell that I get, like wood. And then you get <clears throat> the fireside marshmallows. So... Almost like you're doing uh, like a campfire and you're doing your marshmallows, but you're not getting the smoke. You're not getting the charred wood. You're almost like getting the wood before you do it, but you're getting the marshmallows after you do it. <sighs> yeah, I'm thinking I should have picked up an extra one of that one. Rustic Barn Campgrounds. Yeah, I may have to go back and try to get more of that if it's still there. Uh, let's see. Those are, those are sample pieces. And, oh, I picked up this one. This one I found intriguing. It was called Black Magic. It's mulled wine, dried oranges, hot apple cider, and cinnamon. And it was poured on 10-1. So I, I find that, I find that very interesting. Uh, like a mulled wine, dried oranges. Um, I've had... Oh, I've had like a mulled wine before and it's kind of like that um, you drink maybe in like in a little tiny cordial kind of glass kind of thing because you're not going to drink a ton of that, at least not me, a little bit of that. So the mulled wine, dried oranges, hot apple cider, that sounds very fall-like to me. And let's see, what is the shape? I'm trying to see what the shape is. Oh, it's a goblin with a different kind of face. Another one, see, they're, they're pretty thick. You can definitely get several pieces out of that. Let me put them back in the bag. Ooh, I smell, I definitely sm smell cinnamon. I'm picking up, I think I'm picking up some of that mold stuff in the, in the bag. Sometimes I think the bag might be a little, ah, little piece of him broke off it looks like in there I get quite a bit of cinnamon but not not so much that it's overpowering in the bag I, I'm gonna be honest in the bag it's not my favorite scent but I don't know if it's some of it's the bag or if it's actually the scent uh, maybe maybe mulled wine isn't really my thing in in scents something because i i know i like hot apple cider i know i like cinnamon i'm sh i'm pretty sure i would like dried oranges because i like orange scents so it must be the mulled wine that i'm kind of like mm, i don't know but watch i'm gonna warm it and i'm gonna think it's fantastic yeah it's got to be the mulled wine that's that's a very different kind of scent and again it may do really well on warming coal sniff don't know. All right. And then I got a couple of snap bars, um, basically, right? Like little snap bars. I got three. I got one in Autumn Walk, which is Falling Leaves, Cedar, Mountain Pine, Golden Aspen, 
berries, sage, and clove. And this was poured on 10-3. That's a lot of notes. Normally I would have that window open, but we have construction people out there doing some work for us and I didn't necessarily want to show that mess. And I was hoping that none of the guys would walk in front of the window. Oh, I definitely smell the pine and I'm not a pine person. Let's see. I'm not getting just pine, so. And actually the pine dissipated very quickly. Like I now, it's almost like the pine jumped out when I opened the bag and now it's kind of like after it jumped out, it's like, okay, now I'm not there. I'm there, but not as pronounced as when I first opened it. Hmm. This one's actually very hard to describe. I would say I get like the tree note. I get the, um, I got the pine. I don't know that I can smell cedar. I don't know a golden aspen. I don't really smell berries. And I don't know that I smell sage and clove. It smells like an outdoorsy scent is basically what the best description I can tell you is it smells outdoorsy in the fall. All right, I'm not opposed to it. Um, again, I'm glad that the, the pine kind of dissipated very quickly after I opened it. All right, this one is called Fresh Outdoors. Lemon, ozone, melon, green notes, fir needle, pine, blue spruce, and evergreen. Now, if anything's gonna smell like fresh outdoors, this sounds like it would. And it says poured on 10-1. Wow, that, that note sound awesome on this one. Very fresh, very fresh. Um, and this one, I don't feel, well, could be like a fall, but almost as the weather's changing and it's getting colder. Yeah. Yeah, because it's got, was it spruce? Yeah, I can smell the blue spruce, maybe the fir needle. Um, but I'm guessing the lemon, the ozone, the melon, the green notes, all that is like livening up, especially like the lemon. Um, and I don't smell lemon, but it's livening up the scent to, to make it seem like the other one smell like outdoors in the fall. Right, so it's kind of more that almost warmer weather, right? Not quite cold yet, just getting into the fall. The fall has started. But this one is more like either your fall is in an area where the temperature drops faster, right? Because I'm here in Texas, October, what is it, 26th, and temperature today is supposed to be like 84, so... I'm not getting any cool weather fall right now. But this one, like the temperature has changed. It's gotten much cooler. I like that. I like that. And the, the picture does show like, um, like the trees and by the water. And sometimes by the water tends to be a little cooler anyways. So that smells really good. And this last bar that I got is Southern Pop. And it's a blend of soda pop and black cherry bomb. I thought that sounded very interesting. It poured on 927. So a black cherry fizzy is what I should smell. Yeah. That's what it smells like. That's what it smells like. I like that. I, I love cherry scents and black cherry is just a deeper, richer kind of cherry scent. And then the, the pop is not, um, sometimes when you smell like a fizzy, um, you get a, a strong effervescence, right? This one, I'm, I'm getting that it's a pop, but I don't get a strong effervescence. Probably, probably because the black cherry is so strong. But yet the black cherry doesn't doesn't smell 
Sometimes when you smell something when it's really strong, you feel like it almost like burns your nose. I don't get that from this. I just get a really pretty black cherry scent. And I can kind of get the pop note from it, but it's not very, so like if you're like, eh, I don't like fizzy that much, this one's not very. Um, so the soda pop is on the lighter side, I would say. All right, so the last thing, a couple of things is I have some samples and then the, the, the riser that I wanted to get. All right, so one of the samples is called Autumn Dreams. And so this would have been the sample size that I got like of bug juice. I would have done this and it was so good. All right, so Autumn Dreams. Very sweet. I kind of get a bakery scent from it. I'm not sure what's in Autumn Dreams, but I get a, I get a distinct, almost like cookie scent from it. I was, I almost was going to say like pancakes. Um, I get a very distinct kind of bakery sweet scent. All right. This one's called waterfall and it's two stars. Let's see waterfall. I would think aquatic. Ooh, I like that one. That smells really good. Fresh aquatic, but, um, I was gonna say kind of floral. That's pretty. That is very, very pretty. I like that one a lot. Waterfall smells really, really good. I would absolutely get waterfall in a like several larger pieces. I do get a little bit of aquatic. But I get a freshness and I get, um, I get like a floral, a very pretty floral, but it's not overly floral. Borderlines on a little perfume kind of scent to it, but not, I don't really get a perfume, but I think the floral kind of lends to that a little bit. And then the last piece is Rustic Lodge, which uh, I've, I'm pretty sure I've had Rustic Lodge before. Not sure I've had hers. Yeah, smells like Rustic Lodge. I like that. Um, it, it has like that, you think of a, the lodge and it's all wood and you know, I get kind of an apple scent. Yeah, it smells good. I do like Rustic Lodge. All right, and then the last thing was the riser. I really wanted to, get her riser it's all nicely packed up to keep it safe keep it protected because it's got little little feet right and she had most i think most of the ones she had were very i would say halloween thanksgiving themed and i wanted one that wasn't necessarily halloween or thanksgiving themed because i wanted to be able to use it um like year round so here's the riser, and I believe it's five inch square, All right? So it's got the little feet and it's gorgeous, like wine color. And then the front is a paisley or the top, I should say. I thought that would be very pretty. I could put um, a fragrance flower on that. Um, five inch by five inch, I could probably easily fit a smaller um, warmer on that, like maybe uh, etch core, something like that. Something that's not too wide. I, I, you know, the base can't be too, can't be more than, than this piece here. Um, and since it's five by five, my guess is that the actual top square is probably closer to, I don't know, four to four and a half maybe. Um, Cause it does have like a beveled edge. So I'm going to measure that just to see and give something a try. I'm trying to see if I have something that I could try real quick, but no, I don't. So anyways, I just wanted to show you beautiful, beautiful risers. Perfect for fragrance flower. Perfect for, um, well, not that you'd need to put your, your, um, Scentsy Go on it, but you know, again, like a, smaller uh smaller warmer 
That would make a nice little base for a warmer fragrance flower, anything like that. So I am looking forward to trying that out and using it. So I just wanted to share this um, haul with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, several absolutely gorgeous scents. Bug juice, love that. It's fall, y'all, love that. That waterfall smelled really, really, really good. And the, which one was this one? The rustic, uh, yeah, the rustic barn campgrounds, which was the barn wood with the fire, uh, fireside marshmallows. Mm. I see that there's several that I want more of, but for now I'm going to work on these. I'm going to let them sit for a couple of weeks and then I'm going to warm them. So until next time, enjoy your scents, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.